So OBS window capture lets you capture a specific window on your screen. But the problem is it won't let you record any pop-ups or menus or any other windows. So it literally will only record the window you select. So if you're recording some kind of tutorial or training, this is obviously really frustrating. Um, and you don't wanna resort to having to record using the display capture mode in full screen because then all your icons and everything will appear really small. And that's kind of a problem, especially when viewing the video, the final video on a phone or tablet because everything's gonna be looking really small. And uh, this problem is especially prominent if you have a large monitor. So what you may have tried in the past is using the display capture source type and cropping it down to the window by holding the Alt key and then scaling it up to fit the canvas. But it's such a pain to try and get the crop exactly perfect and get the window ratio perfect. So you end up with either black bars around the window or you have a part of the window cut off or you have part of your desktop showing. Um, or you've just spent, you know, 45 minutes of your time getting it exactly perfect, which is a complete waste of time. And on top of that, not to mention, next time you go to record, the window might not be in the exact same spot. So you end up having to fiddle with uh, the positioning of the window every single time. So let me show you how to get pixel perfect window captures in OBS using the display capture source type so that it'll capture everything that appears on that part of the screen. All right, so first of all, I have a 4K monitor over here with a window. This is Fusion 360. I have it sized down. Um, and then over in OBS, I have a simple uh, display capture source type. So you can just click, if you don't have this up already, you can click the plus sign and select display capture and then you're gonna just choose which monitor uh, the window is in. So I have multiple monitors, you might only have one. And I also like to capture the cursor if I'm doing a tutorial. Um, but this is kind of where we're at right now. Uh, let me actually remove that one. So I have a display capture source type showing my full screen. And I will mention in the settings, I have my base canvas resolution matching the size of my monitor. So everything is filling the canvas perfectly without having to resize it. So you might have a different resolution than myself, but don't worry, you can still follow along in this video. So first you need to accurately resize the program window to a 16 by nine ratio, uh, so that it'll fill the entire canvas perfectly when it's scaled up without leaving any black bars or cropping out any of the window. So the secret to this is using a little free utility called Sizer. So I'll put a link in the description uh, for this little program. It's for Windows only. I don't know if there's a Mac or Linux version, but basically Sizer allows you to right click at any corner of any window in Windows and you can select a resolution and it'll resize that window to that specific resolution. And so what I recommend is setting up a custom resolution for uh, 2560 by 1440. And the way you do that is you just go down to configure sizer and then you can click add size and then fill out the uh, configuration here. So I already have one configured. So I just click on that. It resizes it to exactly 2560 by 1440. And then back in OBS, you can crop around the window using the Alt key. But here's the next problem. How do you accurately do this without um, having to just kind of manually wing it by holding the Alt key and dragging these, these bars? So let me go ahead and reset this and I'll show you how to do this precisely. So back in Sizer, if we look at the uh, configuration of a custom custom sizer, we also have this uh, move to feature. So we can move this to the top left of the screen. And now when we go ahead and activate that size, 
It not only resizes the window, but it'll anchor it precisely to the top left of the screen. And so now back in OBS, instead of manually dragging these uh, controls over, we can right click and, and actually if you're really lazy, uh, you could literally just go into settings, uh, go to the video and resize your base canvas to, uh, what was it, 2560, 2560 by 1440. And when you do that, it will resize the canvas to the exact size that we sized the window to. Um, but you'll notice the issue with that is it uh, overflows the rest of that source off of the canvas, which technically is fine, um, but it's kind of the lazy approach. And also if you have a specific canvas size that you already have a bunch of other overlays set up with, uh, you might not want to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and set the canvas back to what it was. So let me show you how to crop this source down precisely. So if you just right click on the source, you can either right click up here or you can right click down in the sources, go to transform and edit transform. And so you might think, okay, I just need to you know, resize this. But if you do that, it's actually gonna scale the source. So that's not what we want. Instead, what we wanna do is put in some figures in the crop area. So in order to figure out the right number to put in here, what you need to do is take the total width here. So we have 3840, and then we need to subtract the width of this, which was 2560, I believe. Yeah, 2560. So that comes out to 1280, and boom, you see we have a perfect crop there. And then the bottom, uh, if you do the math, that comes out to 720. And then we have a perfectly cropped source. And so from here, you could either do what we did previously and resize your canvas to match, um, or if you if you want the uh, the canvas to, to be a certain size, like if you already have some, some overlays set up at a, a certain resolution, you can just right click it, uh, transform and uh, stretch to screen or fit to screen. It'll do the same thing because the ratio is exact. So now the, the cool thing is, um, you know, when you have any type of pop-up window or anything like that, the display capture source will capture it. Um, the only drawback to this is if you have any sort of like pop-up menu that kind of flows off of the window, um, it's not gonna capture that. So that's the kind of only drawback that I know of this, this method. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.